What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer. And today I've got an unboxing video for you guys of the brand new iPhone 6 Plus. Now, I'm only doing the 6 Plus, but it's pretty much the same thing as the 6. So, it's like a two-in-one. But anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so here's the iPhone 6 box. Now, you can see that Apple has changed things up quite a bit. There's nothing on the front anymore that you can't see the preview of the iPhone. It just has like the silhouette and it's all white. On the sides, it just says iPhone, so you no longer see that numerical value, so you don't see iPhone 5, 5S, nothing like that. Pretty blank box, there's not much to it. Let you know, you know, some stuff in the back, but I'm gonna get to opening this up. Uh, I don't have my typical unboxing knife, so uh, let's, get this open all right oh, you see using a when it's not the unboxing knife it doesn't do that great a job <laughs> but there we go so we're getting rid of this plastic and let's pop this open give it a little jiggle boom there you have it this is the iPhone 6 plus and it's huge <laughs> First impression right now, it's huge. Not not heavy though, it's really light. But let's see what else we get inside the box. Uh, we've also got typical Apple paperwork inside of here. Uh, you know, warranty information, start guide, and of course, stickers. Everybody loves stickers. So that's what you get here. And you of course also get the Apple ear pods. So standard. Of course, the wall adapter and the lightning cable. Now, there were rumors of this being reversible. So for those of you who were expecting that, you're not gonna find it here. This is a regular standard lightning cable. So that's pretty much it for the box. So uh, let's actually take a better look at this iPhone 6 Plus. So, so far, first impressions. It's It looks big when you first see it, but holding it, doesn't seem too huge, too huge, not too bad. I also have an iPhone, regular iPhone 6 right here. Now, if you guys wanna see side by side, it kinda dwarfs it. Take a look at the back, not bad. There are some differences between them besides just the size. You also have a bigger battery with the iPhone 6 Plus as well as optical image stabilization in the camera, and as well as some iOS features like doing landscape mode when you're using it sideways and stuff like that. So overall, you've got a couple of different stuff here, but it's pretty much very similar to the regular iPhone 6 Plus. So now let's get some of this plastic off. Oh, it goes all the way over. So there you go. Pretty much this is it. Feels good, guys. Uh, very, very thin, very light. Uh, it seems like it could be a little slippery because of the sides. It's got like a curved feel to it. Um, it's not the regular hard edges like the iPhone 5 or even the 4s. But yeah, let's power this thing on. And while I do that, I'll show you guys a quick tour around the actual phone itself. So we have the power button on the right side and you can see that they no longer have it on the top. Now it's on the right side. Now this is a larger phone, so it's going to make it a little easier to access the power button over here. Um, also on the left side is pretty standard. You have your volume up and down, as well as your mute switch. So if you wanna mute it, you can just hit that. Bottom, of course, has your lightning, connect, your lightning uh, port, as well as your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And in the back, you have your eight megapixel rear camera. Now, this camera protrudes a bit on the back, so you can actually feel it. Now, this is a bit of a concern when you're putting your phone down, so you're gonna wanna be a little careful instead of just like dropping your phone on the any surface because it's directly impacting on, it directly impacts the camera itself. So that's gonna be something to look out for. You, of course, got your flash. And uh, these little strips right here, I believe, are antenna bands, so like you can get better reception. And on the, also on the right side is where you have your SIM card slot. So you can throw in your SIM right here. And pretty much standard stuff. Uh, you also have a FaceTime HD camera on the front. 
um, and your speaker. And of course you have the touch ID at the bottom of with the home button. So uh, we do have it powered on. So as you guys can see here, all you have to do is go through the setup process. Now I got this with T-Mobile. I got the 64 gigabyte version. Now I feel like 64 gigabyte is definitely the way to go. If you're planning on getting the iPhone and you're considering the 16 gigabyte, probably because it's a bit cheaper, uh, definitely keep this in mind that you can run out of space very easily. I know some of you probably went through a lot of trouble trying to get iOS 8 on your iPhone or whatever device you may have if it's at a lower gigabyte. So if you have like 16 or eight gigs, gigs you definitely wanna keep stuff like that in mind. You're gonna take pictures that's gonna end up getting deleted, all that stuff. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go through the setup process a bit and just give you guys my first impressions on how I feel the OS runs so far on the bigger screen. All right guys, so I did get to set it up and actually it is pretty smooth. I definitely like the feel of it. Um, everything seems pretty nice. I'm liking what I see so far. Uh, it definitely feels very good. I'm gonna have all kinds of different tests where I try out the camera and all that, all that kind of stuff that you'd expect to see. So definitely stay tuned for that. But so far, I do like it. Um, the feel in the hands is not bad. Uh, comparing it to the six, it definitely is a lot bigger. But I think that it's one of those things that when you, if you purchase it and you have it as your daily driver, you'll get used to it pretty quickly. But that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Uh, typical iPhones un unboxings don't have much to them anyway, but this is them. They're not bad at all. If you guys haven't checked out some of my videos on the iPhone 6 already, you should check them out. I'm gonna have links down below in the description. I go over the top five features as well as some top five features of iOS 8. So definitely look for those in the description. And pretty much that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be the cool guy that gives it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content from me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.